Hello Snooker fans, this is me Vilu Shunteva from the Snooker Pro Club and today I will show you another exercise which you can do at home to improve your snooker game. So today I will talk about tempo and rhythm importance. Tempo and rhythm is so important because if you have rhythm and tempo you can play snooker at a very high level. Players like Stuart Bingham, Ron Yosalo and Jack Trump doesn't have complete straight queuing but they are very good ball strikers and rhythm and tempo this is a byproduct from the rhythm and tempo. So uh, I have a simple object, nut, uh, I, I'm going to use this as a ball. So basically I use a normal bridge hand, so you can measure like this, stick to the nut and uh, you want to make a cue through the object. So that means uh, uh, as I do my approach, I keep my tip as close as possible to the ball, to the object. And then, as I uh, making my last backswing, I am counting to myself one, two. So one and push two through. One, two. One, two. The biggest mistakes which players are making they are playing with a little bit too quick tempo or too slow tempo. So quick is one, two. A yeah, very common beginner mistake. And for more advanced players who already have some knowledge, they thought about that. Some coaches told me you have to have a pause if you want to be good ball striker. So they hold their cue a little bit too long on the backswing. So that means they hold one and two. And in this case, you completely lose your tempo, you're stopping your cue, and you have to start your cue delivery again which means for the most people you will lose tempo and rhythm and it doesn't uh, allow cue ball react in a certain way so you want to have a cue with the acceleration so one, two, it's like a snowball effect in the beginning snow falls slowly and then gradually builds the speed and you want to have a maximum speed on the end of the cue delivery which is very important so I will repeat again just remember you can count to yourself like say to yourself one, two, one, two. If is that not suitable for you, you can use push through. It's like long, push through, push through. You can do about uh, 100,000 reps to build a muscle memory. And after lockdown, when you're gonna come back to the club, you won't be that rigid, you will build some uh, muscle memory in your mind and I always guarantee when you will play snooker you will see positive results pretty quickly so you can practice stroke at home without any equipment that you don't need to have any iron board or something like that you just uh, in my opinion rhythm and tempo is a key if you want to be a very good ball striker which means uh, you will be a better player so it was Vilu Shutera from the Snooker Pro Club I hope this exercise will benefit your game and see you soon. Bye.